<laughs> what up, everybody? Giants up 2-0. Uh, a couple of just thoughts about the game. Uh, first of all, I was just really impressed by Doug Fisterman. I think that, I mean, he's a Fresno State product from Merced. It's about an hour away from the town. Uh, I grew up in Fresno. Uh, he was awesome, man. He really totally kept the Tigers in the game. I thought that that breaking ball, was it a... a a curve, some sort of hook, slider type thing, man. That was nasty, man. I don't think any of the Giants hitters really had an answer for that. But to their credit, they were able to, you know, foul off some pitches, um, you know, draw some walks or whatever like that, and uh, drive up the pitch count. I really thought that, um, you know, if it had stayed 0-0, that, uh, that he and Bumgarner could have stayed in the game longer. But, you know, that being said, um, uh, Giants, you know, hey, I'm not going to deny, man, we're getting some breaks. Uh, you know, they had that ball that bounced off the third base. Uh, last night we had that bunt that stays fair. Um, uh, quick thought about the, uh, the play, um, in the second inning, Prince Fielder, uh, sliding into home. Prince, man, you gotta, I know you're big, I know you're fat, I know your man boobs are flopping all over the place, but if you see Buster Posey, who's already got hurt at home, guarding the inside, you need a slide on the outside, man. That was like Jeremy Giambi epic fail stuff right there. And he was throwing his fit and spitting and you mad, bro. Just, just nails. Stuff like that. I mean, yeah, you got to be good, but you also got to be lucky. I mean, any you look at the last couple World Series winners or any Super Bowl winners and stuff like that. There's some little, there's some luck involved. Uh, so I'm not going to deny that. But at the same time, you have to capitalize on your luck. But the Giants made the most of their opportunities. Um, just, you know, gritty, gutty. And the best case scenario, obviously being up 2-0 is the best case scenario, but now we're going into Detroit and we're playing, facing their number three and four hitters and we got our number one and our number two coming up right now. So it's, uh, it's good. It's a, it's an awesome feeling. Uh, again, a little subdued on my part because I'm, uh, I'm waiting and anticipating bigger and better things. But, uh, you know, Tough stuff, dude. I got also big shout out to Sergio Romo. All, all America's finding out what a cool cat this guy is. I follow him on Twitter. Uh, I've been, you know, a, a Giants fan, so I listen to the games and watch the games all the time. And Romo is cool. My dad called me and talked to me right now, and he said he's just a little happy little Mexican dude from LA. And he is, man. He's a cool little dude, man. I love his carefree attitude. I love the way he, the things he says. You know what he approaches. You know they asked him. Were you aware that Miguel Cabrera was doing fourth inning? He's like, I, I didn't even sweat at that. You know what I mean? I'm worried about the next pitch. You know what I mean? I'm worried about this guy right now. And it's just kind of attitude like that. If you've seen some of the posts I put up, if you are a Giants fan, you just know that this is a, such an easy group of guys to root for. You really do feel like they care about each other. You really do feel like they will put their egos aside. I mean, look at what Lincecum has been doing. They put their egos aside just to get the job done. I mean, you got to recognize how different this team is from 2010. Uh, Bochi, you can't, don't question anything Bochi does. I questioned game one Zito. I questioned game two Bumgarner. But he knew to throw the left-handers up there and get the home crowd behind them. He's making all the right calls. 2010, the lineup kept moving. Guys were hitting third. Guys were hitting fifth, sixth. Guys were in. Guys were out. Posey's playing third base, he's playing first base, Sandoval. But now it's the same lineup pretty much this playoffs that uh batting order that it's been the whole the whole time. So it's just you know, you gotta appreciate what a what a great chess player he is. Uh, he's going up against Jim Leland, who I have a ton of respect for and who I love. But uh let's face it, Jim Leland has been to the playoffs a lot and he's not gotten it done a lot. Uh so uh everything going the Giants way right now. You hope this party just continues. Um keep trying to convince my wife that uh you know we're making the drive from portland to san francisco if there is a world series parade uh oh my god i jinxed it no man giants players will talk about that too they were saying this morning they want to be two up two oh we want to be up two oh none of that you know happy to be here political type talk i think the giants smell blood and water and i think that they are just going to go out and flex their muscles i mean this there's so many parallels you know uh, between how the World Series went 2010 and how it's going now. Uh, great pitching, timely hitting. Uh, we did have our blowout game. Let's go into Texas. or <laughs> Texas. <laughs> see? Let's go into Detroit, see what happens. But, uh, man, I love the rally. Granny, I think Hunter Pence looks like a guy that cleans out uh, porta potties for a living. But, you know, 
Hey, you know, the, okay. <laughs> It's just goofy stuff, but what a great, what a great win, what a great game, what a great bunch of guys. Uh, the season's turning out, you know, beautiful, man. I love it. Don't hate.